Got some stuff. Well, I've had it for a few days. No footage of me getting it, but I will tell you I paid $30 for this. I found these to be pretty cool. There's a Nessie Burns Crystal. All right, still have the box, which is good because they help for shipping. When I saw this, they all look like they're old. And I like, I don't mean any offense when I say things look old, folks. I'm just saying they look old enough to be worth looking at and not so much of new. I like old stuff. I am old. I'm 43 years old and growing each day and maturing most of the time. This one is very, very nice. This, here's the name of it. I haven't looked these up. I just saw that I like them and saw that they look to be in brand new condition. There are two of them. And this is a beauty. I'd even take them out when I looked at them. Look at this crystal right here. It even has some little gems on the inside. Very, very beautiful. Oh, it is signed on the bottom. Is it Nessie? It doesn't. It looks like Oleg Cassini. This might be an older one. I'm familiar with Oleg. Oleg has a lot of iridescent type glass. I've never seen like this, I guess, cruet or what would you call this? Cruet? Cruet style, this type of cuts, but I love it. It is beautiful. Signatures right on the bottom. It looks like scratches, but that's a signature. And then it's not just one. There are two. Two of these. And I like that these fit inside the box. It's kind of like molded in for placement, which helps out a ton. Again, for shipping purposes, I just got to add some more cushion on the top so it doesn't rattle around and holds even better. I'll show you the first one in a moment. This one, does it look familiar? <laughs> I wonder if it glows. We'll, we'll see in a little bit if it's glowed, but look, another one. Um, This is one that I got for $10 from a different vendor. Uh, he wasn't even packing up. He just unloaded his boxes and a piece of this, just, just the top was sticking out. And I could see that there was a swirl on here. Very nice, nice glass, nice vase. Not signed, I looked it up and it looks like it's marked as Murano and it does look like a Murano piece. So very beautiful piece for, I believe I got it for $10. So I will have that tomorrow as well. Oh, I ended up getting two shoes, all right? Two of these shoes and I only got these for two bucks. So pretty good score. This was part of the $30 purchase with the, with the two boxes that I showed you. I do like coming across a lot of trinkets. I do very well with them. On whatnot, I usually pi price them at $10 and they sell for 10 or up to 18, sometimes 20 something dollars, all depending. This one does not have a maker mark and I still do good on them. I ended up getting some a while back on offer up, like around 40 something of them. Now these are cushioned up. This one is very cool. I have not looked up what it was, but it was part of the $30 purchase. Little crystal dog. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, Lady in the Trap, that type of dog. So dogs and cats do very well. And then this one is, there's Pat's Crystal or Plum. Pinkles? Oh, Princess House. It's a Princess House, Pets. So I... Oh, wow. I think that might be my first actual princess house that I picked up of a figurine, like an animal figurine. I think I picked up some cups before. Some really nice ones, which I need to dig out of my storage. Uh, here's a nice little one. This was part of the $30 purchase as well. I like little figurines like this. And this has some really nice coating, some gloss to it and details. Just a, that little leg up, just a nice little touch. Very happy type of posture or sassy and then this one is by royal dalton christmas skater is there a date on this 2005 so i've been finding a little bit more of uh royal dalton stuff the other one that sold was a little tray that i showed you i got that at the rummage sale and that one ended up selling on knickknacks there's another one. Oh, there's another one that goes to this cats. Like I said, I do well with cats, so I look out for them. This is in brand new condition, unused. This is a salt and pepper shaker. And you might be wondering, how can it be a salt and pepper shaker in one? You can mix both. Uh, but this is by Graham or Gotham. Gotham? Yeah, Gotham, Germany. Uh, fine crystal. So I have another one. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. I got some more crystals in it. All right. Here's the other one. Look at this salt and pepper shaker. These are really, really cool. I usually don't pick up salt and pepper shakers. I've had people give them to me and I cannot sell or give them away. 
um, majority of them, some of them do sell, but when it comes to crystal, I'm, I am for it. And the stoppers are in really good condition. So that is cool that those go together. But I didn't show you the first one, and it wasn't intentional. I just wanted to open everything up and pull it out. This one is by Nessie Burns Crystal. Let's see if I could open it this way. Shit, I think there's like a molded version. Oh, definitely can't see it there. Can y'all see that? It's like the Loch Ness Monster. And then it does have a story on here, on the top. Ancient Lenses tells us that Nessie was first sighted in Scotland's Loch Ness by Ireland's Saint Columba in the year 565 AD. Lurking beneath the murky waters, cold waters of Loch Ness, 24 miles long and a thousand feet deep, the creature affect affectionately? The creature affectionately called Nessie has now become Scotland's favorite monster. Burns Crystal, K-A-S-5-E-U. And then there's a telephone number on there. But what I like about this, let me take this out and show you, is that it's not one whole piece. This is what I love about glass and things like this because I'm an artist and I love things like this. This is very unique. Let me turn this around. So I love this, that these pieces make it seem like it's art swimming over something or coming out of water or a surface. That I love this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful right here. Little movable parts. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Well, actually very cool. I wonder if these are actually signed. Sometimes they're signed individually. Maybe not, but still very nice, right? Right? Thumbs up for that one. Let me put this up. I think these are really good purchases for 30, 10, and 2. All of these boxes are going to come in handy for most of the small things like this. This little guy, one of the smallest ones, I figured I'm just going to categorize them in the knickknacks auction by small, medium, and large. And even the large ones are still under 3 ounces, even though they have a really good weight and feel to them. Uh, some of them, majority of them, will fit inside these boxes. So these boxes have continued to help out a ton. Thank you, Doris. All right, back in my storage unit, bringing some more stuff. I should have dug for some more hats, but I have somebody, another buddy, who's interested in purchasing some stuff. And um, I forgot the snapbacks. Trucker snapback vintage hats in the truck. I told him if he was interested, he said he loves them, so. Maybe you'll take them. I got so much more hats too, blank hats. Don't overlook blank hats because I've sold like five of them for over $100 altogether. Some really good ones out there. They're still out there. I find them. You can find them stuff. All right. Oh, let me get this. Hats. Have this, have this Gumball 3000 jacket. Totally forgot I had this. It's like a Letterman's jacket and vintage hats. And then there's a jacket I had at home. It's a Gumball 3000 Letterman jacket. That's a race, right? Yeah. Who's this guy? The guy? That guy that asked, asked about me? About me, that Told you about my accident? Oh, yeah. That guy? Uh, Just made another storage cell. Made 250 bucks off of a good pile. And that might just be something I consider from now on when I go sourcing. Really starting to focus more on auctions. I wanna do more auctions. I do like the quicker payouts. I make really good profits. And I'm gonna have my sale on the 24th. This weekend is community yard sale. So I am gonna start getting back to thrifting videos on my main channel. I just had a live on that channel yesterday, which I used to do often. Now I'm looking at maybe doing once or twice a month. At the end of every month on my main channel, my thrifting channel, I am doing giveaways. So I have another live to do maybe in a couple of days before the month's over. Right now I'm in line at Popeye's. Carla wanted some food, especially that one right there. That's her favorite, the shrimp basket, shrimp tackle box. I don't think, 
Did they always call it that? Carla was telling me when she was at work last night that her and her employees were wanting Popeyes and when they ordered it using Uber Eats, that 30 minutes afterwards placed in an order, it got canceled. And then they ordered from somewhere else and they didn't get all of their food that they ordered. Somebody's entire meal wasn't even put inside like their order and all the fries were missing of whatever place they ordered from. So she was having a strong craving for it. And she said, babe, can you give me some Popeyes before she has to work? So I'm gonna get her some. I, I want some for myself, but I also want to get away from fast food and greasy stuff. I can make cold sandwiches. I prefer that. Maybe some chips on the side. Oh. All right. Carla just left to work. I got the Clausene pendants set up on knickknacks. I... I'm thinking I'm going to hold off on the glass because I'm trying to make a glass auction sale along with others. So I'm waiting on a reply to that. I was asked at first if I wanted to be part of it and I had my days messed up. I thought I was leaving to Hawaii in a few days at the end of the month, not realizing I'm not leaving till the end of next month. I tell you, man, like my brain is just scatterbrained most of the time, but somehow I manage. I manage and this guy over here. Looks like uh, he's having, having <laughs> he's such a character. He was all happy I was playing with him. Then he started growling at me like, don't play with me. But then he was, he was, <laughs> he was all over me. Yeah, you know I'm talking about you, right? You know I'm talking about you, boy. You're a good boy. You want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. All right, let's go for a walk. Let's go. Come on. All right. Let's go inside here. Whoa that I just dropped. Uh, we haven't played any board games in a while. It's fun. Look at the Monopoly ones. I love them. They're fun, but they do cause a lot of problems with friendships and relationships. Freaking Monopoly games. Oh, look. So easy to close. I mean, so easy to open. Oh, my goodness. So easy to open. So hard to close. All right. Up over here. Come on. Come on. Up. Good boy. Good, good boy, Ted. Look at you. You train well, my friend. Good job. Gonna go for a little walk. Hold on. Make sure this is fascinated good. Stand by, my friend. Stand by. All right, go. Just our neighbors. Oh, the weather feels better, doesn't it? It feels so good out here. Really enjoying the weather while wow, it's this temperature. Nice, cool, breeze is amazing, nice and cool, not hot. The other day it was like 78 degrees. Today it's probably like low 70s. It's feeling beautiful, especially with the overcast. Perfecto. We've had a post since last year, never set it up. I'm gonna set it up soon this year. You ready to go home? All right, <laughs> let's go home then. Go, up, come on. Good, all right. Tip's really good at obeying me. When it comes to Carla, it doesn't happen. And if there's guests, good luck with that. But he's a very good dog. He's gonna go to his favorite spot in the kitchen after his walks and lay down. Like he's had such a hard walk. It was only like maybe five minutes. <laughs> and then he just wanted to run across the street home. I usually just follow his lead. This has been an amazing, an amazing week of sales, making money, I have a really good time, hanging out with friends. And I hope we find a booth and soon but only if it works for us and what we're trying to do and how they run their business, if it complements ours and ours theirs. Because when it comes to friends being involved in things, it makes it easier. It makes it more fun. It doesn't feel like you're doing things alone. Another part of the community that I love, the support system, and also me being a part of it and doing my good as well. And throwing it out there, sending vibes all the time. And not just that, just doing good. And I know there's a lot of other people out there as well doing amazing things 
very, very good things. And everybody has a chance and an opportunity to do what they want. But it's not always easy at first because a lot of people, for things that are new, don't give themselves a chance. They hear other people, they hear voices in their head saying, why would you do that? It's going to be hard work. Other people have failed, but not everybody has failed. And those who have failed have failed for moments and figured things out that has given them a much better life and found happiness along the way. And that's what I found. And I want more of it. And I want to share more of it. Thank you all for supporting my videos. I'm going to be here every day as best as possible. I am even thinking about it when I go out to Hawaii. Am I going to be able to do that? How's the schedule going to be? When do we fly? How can I make these happen? And I want to figure things out. I really love this channel. And I love what's coming out of it. And what's being taken from it as well. You see me again tomorrow. Make sure to like and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. And if you haven't already, check out the other videos that I posted on this channel. Thank y'all. Have a good one.